How many questions do you ask in a day? I mean real questions about important stuff. Not things like, where are my keys? Or, what time do you call this? Yes, I know finding your keys is important, but you'll find them. Pause the video now and think for a second. What burning questions do you have? Hi, my name's Michelle and I want you to get your students asking as many questions as possible. Being curious about the world and how it works is healthy. Asking questions helps us to understand and make sense of the world around us. It allows us to learn new things, discover new ideas and find answers to problems. It helps us expand our knowledge and understanding of the world and to think critically about the information and experiences we encounter. Asking questions also helps us communicate with others and to collaborate in finding solutions to common problems. Questions are an essential part of being curious, open-minded and engaged in the world around us. They're essentially important life skills. Young children have lots of questions, but as they grow up, they stop asking questions and focus on answering them, leading to a situation where they either know the answer or don't. However, it's often the questions themselves which require critical thinking and analysis, particularly when the question starts with why. In the classroom, we can encourage questions and use them as a starting point for learning. In an inquiry-based approach, learners come up with their own questions around a topic or theme and they work together to find answers. Start by modelling questions around your topic. Write question words on the board and see what comes up. Write any questions the students suggest on the board. Then put them in groups and give them a piece of paper and some coloured pens. Give them time to write down any questions they can think of. Make it a kind of free writing activity. It's okay if the questions aren't grammatically correct and students can also use their other languages. It can help to play some soft music in the background. After a few minutes, invite students to read each other's questions. Then, together, they choose the best questions. You can set a number, for example, three or five. And these are the questions that they will try to answer. In the next video, we'll explore what they can do next with these questions. Let's encourage students to remain curious about the world we live in. After all, they're the ones who will make up the society of the future. Being curious about the world and exploring how we can make it a better place will help children and teenagers realise how they can be involved in making change. And as my friend Harry Waters at Renewable English says, let's cultivate change makers. If you like this video and want to hear more about inquiry-based learning and other learner-centered approaches, like and subscribe now. Happy inquiring!